When a person rolls a pair of fair dice, there are 36 possible outcomes. Use the table below, which lists all 36 outcomes, to find the probability that a person rolls a total of 7 on a pair of fair dice. Okay, so we have the outcomes listed here. It says find the probability, so I've underlined that key phrase, right? Obviously we have to do a probability problem here. That a person rolls a total of a 7 on a pair of fair dice. So it looks like it's just one roll, and we're looking for the probability that when he rolls those two die, um, he gets a total of 7 on the dice. So if we're working basic probability, the first thing we have to do is write out a probability statement. So we're looking for the probability of rolling a total of 7. So the probability of a total of 7. Okay, once I have that phrase written out and expressed, then I have to take what's inside that parenthesis and express it in a fraction format. So I want to put the number of uh, outcomes that total to 7 over the total number of possible outcomes. So I'm going to say the number of outcomes that total to 7 divided by the total number of possible outcomes. All right, and that's basic probability, right? It's always number of, number of whatever you have in here divided by the total. Okay, so let's count up in that grid system how many times we see a total of seven. So when I go through this grid, I can see that going down the first column, that's two, that's three, that's four, that's five, that's six, that's seven, right? That's the first total in the first column that we see that equals seven. And then, you know, down we have three, four, five, six, and then seven. Notice that the one after would be eight, the one before is only six, right? So we can see there's a pattern emerging. Actually, all along this diagonal, we see that there is a total of seven. Everything after that would be too big, right? That's eight, nine, it's getting bigger. Before it would be too small, that's only six, right? So this is the list of possible outcomes. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six values out of a total possible number of values. There are actually 36, right? 36 possible outcomes. And 6 divided by 36, of course, reduces to 1 sixth. And if you want to express that as a decimal, we'll end up with 1 divided by 6, which is roughly 0.167, or 16.7% chance.